warning you are under cctv surveillance this is a restricted area do not enter entry is permitted to authorized personnel only no trespassing you might have seen this kind of messages around your neighborhood in shopping malls in private property inside the building this kind of messages are available everywhere and this kind of messages are called warning banner now the question is why would we need to use the warning banner what is its intention simply saying its intention is to warn the people from doing something not right for example if you are under the cctv surveillance that means you are monitored by the camera if you do something wrong then that will be recorded and that will be an evidence against you and in some area only the staffs or authorized persons are allowed the publics are not allowed to enter into that area so it is restricted for the public but you have to notify the public that it is restricted for them or maybe there is a private property and the public like you and me are not allowed to enter to this property so this kind of banner messages are in place to notify the other people or make them aware like they are not supposed to do that and if they ignore this message and if they do that then it is a punishable offense that is a concept of using warning banners to protect the law and the rule now we know how to protect our properties from the unauthorized access or trespassing but how we are going to protect our network devices from unauthorized access because the network devices are a part of the network so there is a possibility like the other people can get access to our network devices so how we are going to warn these people who is entering to our network or the network devices for example your network may contain the router switches firewall or any other networking devices so the people can get access to these devices internally or externally and this person may be an unauthorized person he is not permitted to access this device by the rule of your organization or by the law so we should notify this person we would warn them about this unauthorized access and when we warn them it is their responsibility to stop the process from there and exit from the access or else if they didn't do that then they are violating the rule of your organization and it is a punishable offense so in this video we are going to discuss how we can use the login banner in the network devices to warn the unauthorized users welcome to the video Welcome to CCNA 203.1 Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions Chapter Number 39 How to Configure Login Banner in Cisco Device Learn CCNA with Irash Academy I have placed the complete CCNA playlist at the top right corner of the video information bar In this chapter we will talk about what is a login banner we will see what is the purpose of a login banner and we will discuss about the content of the login banner We will discuss about different types of login banners and finally I will show you how to configure the login banner in your Cisco device. So what is the login banner? The login banner is used to display a warning or message when someone try to log into the device. It is to remind them their access permission into that device or the property. They have to check if they are authorized to access that device. if they are not authorized then they have to exit from there or they are responsible for any kind of violation happened now why do we need to use the login banner in cisco devices there are several reasons the reason number 1 for the security warning login banners are used to provide the security warning to the people who is accessing that device this is to tell them that they are accessing a company property which contain critical information and if they are not authorized to access this device then it is a punishable offense the second point is the login banners are used as a legal notice this is to inform them that they are legally responsible for any violation happen by their action like accessing a device which they are not authorized to access or not permitted to access it is a punishable offense and by doing that they have to face the legal actions from the organization point number 3 information display the login banners are used to display some information when the people log into that device such as the maintenance window is going on or do not make any changes in the device something like that 
Now the point number four, custom message. The login banners are used to provide the custom message to the person who is logged into that device. It can be a hi message or hello message or any other kind of greetings or welcome message. So these are the main purpose of using a login banner in a Cisco device or any other network device. Now let's see what should be the content of a login banner. When we set up the login banner, we need to mention what is considered proper use of the system. Such as this device is using for what? Who owned this device? What kind of changes can make on this device? Something like that. Now the point number two, the system is being monitored to detect improper use and other illegal activity. So in the login banner, we can include a message like this system is monitored and anyone use it in improper way, then they have to face the legal actions. Now the third point, there is no expectation of the privacy while using the system. This kind of message used to inform the user about to protect their personal actions because there is no privacy in this system. Whatever you do, the other people can get a visibility on that. So we can include a statement in the login banner about the privacy concern of the person who is logging to the device. Now the point number four, the content can be prosecution about the unauthorized users. These kind of statements are used to warn the user about the penalties. If they are not authorized user, then they are violating the organization policy and it is a punishable offense. And what kind of punishment they can get in legal way. So these are the most commonly used content in a login banner. Now we can talk about different types of login banners. There are mainly two kinds of login banners are used. One is short form banner which contain a short message. And this is the example of the short form banner. It is simply saying this is the property of IRASH Academy, access for authorized person only. If you are not authorized to use this system, then log off immediately. So this kind of short form banner we can use. And the second types are long form banner. In long form banner, there is a lot of things we can include. And this is the one of the example of the long form banner. In this type of long form banner, we can include so many things. We can notify the user about the violation. We can mention the legal punishment. We can talk about the privacy part. We can talk about the ownership of this device. So many things we can include. That is why there is a lot of details and it is long form banner. So in this screen, you can see one example of a long form banner, which states that this system is the property of the IRASH Academy. It is for authorized use only. By using the system, all users acknowledge notice of and agree to the comply with IRASH Academy's acceptable use of information technology resources policy. Users have no personal privacy rights in this material they place, view, access or transmit on this system. Any or all user of this system and all file in this system may be intercepted, monitored, recorded, copied, audited, inspected and disclosed to the authorized law enforcement personnel. An authorized or improper use of this system may result in administrative disciplinary action, civil charges or criminal penalties. So in this long form banner, you can see that we have included all the information that we mentioned. So these are the main two types of form banner we use in the login banner. Now, how to configure the login banner in Cisco devices? We can configure the login banner in Cisco devices by using the command called banner MOTT. Banner indicate that we are going to configure the login banner and the MOTD stands for message of the day. And the banner message which is showing in blue color it is the actual message we are typing as a login banner. Here you can see the character C. This C is using to indicate that where is the beginning point of the login banner and where is the ending point. So this banner MOTD command we need to run from the configuration mode to configure the login banner in Cisco devices. Now let me take you to my router and show you how to configure the login banner in this router. Now. I have connected to the console of my router. It is saying press return to get started. So let me press the enter. Now I am at the user mode and here you can see this is a router and its host name is router. So there was no login banner displayed when I press enter. Now let's configure a login banner 
in this router for that first i have to go to the privilege mode i am using the command enable to go to the privilege mode now i am at the privilege mode now the question from where we can configure the login banner to configure the login banner you have to go to the configuration mode and how to go to configuration mode by using the command configure terminal so i am going to the configuration mode using the command configure terminal then press enter now you can see i am at the configuration mode and here i can configure the login banner so what is the command that we use to configure the login banner the command is banner then mott this is the command we are using to configure the login banner this banner indicate that we are going to configure the banner and the mott stands for message of the day it indicate the message we are going to type now after we type mott press the question mark and when we press the question mark we can see here the only available option is something called lane what is this lane mean if you see here this lane is not showing in small letter it is showing in capital letter so whatever the option you can see in capital letter it means it is a variable it is not the exact command called lane instead it is a variable we can type here anything we can enter one line message or we can enter multiple line message we can enter anything but when we enter something here how the cisco ios know that how the banner message completed because to configure the login banner cisco ios need to identify what is the login banner message then it has to exit from the command then only the login banner can get configured so how the cisco io is going to recognize what is the starting point of the message and what is the ending point of the message if you look at here you can see the syntax letter c banner text then c and it is written where c is a delimiting character so what is this delimiting character mean delimiting character means it is a character that is used to indicate the starting point and ending point of a statement for example our banner message it should start from c and end with c so when we start c we are saying to ios that it is the starting point of my banner text and when you use the c again then it is telling to the ios like this is the end of my message that is the concept of delimiting character so here in the example it is mentioned c as delimiting character but it is not mandatory you need to use the c character here you can use any character as delimiting character you can use the special character also as delimiting character here c is showing as an example we can use anything so let me show you that thing for example here i am going to use the special character at symbol as a delimiting character so when i type the at symbol that means it is the starting of my banner text then i am going to type the banner text here i am going to type hello welcome to irash academy so this is my message and when my message end i need to inform the ios that my banner text is completed so how would i inform the cisco ios the answer is by using the same delimiting character so let me use here the same delimiting character my delimiting character was at symbol so let me use here the at symbol press enter now the configuration has been completed i have set up the login banner message now how to test this changes to test the login banner we have to exit from the all mode and access the console again from the beginning now when i use the exit command and press enter i reach to the privilege mode now let me go to exit again to get out from the privilege mode now i am at the console initial point now how can i go to user mode press return to get start so let me press the enter button see when i press the enter button see i got my login banner here it is saying hello welcome to irash academy so this is how we configure the login banner in this cisco device now we have configured a simple login banner now how to configure the multi lane customized login banner in your cisco device let me show you so to configure that now i am at the user mode i need to go to privilege mode for that i am using the command enable now i am at the privilege mode now let me go to the configuration mode with the command configure terminal 
now what is the command to configure the login banner it is banner motd okay now what is next if you go to question mark you can see you need to put your message here with delimiting character last time i used the special character at the rate as a delimiting character and this time i can use the dollar sign so let me go to the dollar sign here here you are going to configure a customized multi-lane login banner so to type multi-lane you need to go to the next line so i can just press enter and when i press enter see enter the text message then end with the character dollar so the cisco io is telling me to enter the text message and end with that character this dollar sign because here we use dollar sign as a delimiting character so we have to end the command with the dollar sign only if we put any other character the command will not end the ios will think that character is also part of the login banner so after the first delimiting character i can type anything i want and the ios will consider it as a login banner message i can type something or i can just go to enter to next line now i am going to enter here my customized message so let me show you my customized message so this is my customized message here we have a message here and i use some special customized format here for a better visibility now how i am going to type all this message here in this console it will take a lot of time so i am just going to copy and paste the message exactly as it is in the console so let me copy here okay then just paste it now how to paste the copied text in cisco ios console for that you need to press the right button of your mouse in this ios console so now when i paste you can see my customized message came in the command line now i can press enter again to go to two line down and this is my end of the message now to tell the cisco ios this is the end of the login banner what should i do i should close this command with the delimiting character and what is our delimiting character here it is the dollar sign so let me put the dollar sign here then enter see as soon as i put the dollar sign here the cisco ios recognize this is the end of the command and it go to the next line so now our configuration is completed now how to test this configuration for that you need to exit from the privilege mode and uh, user mode then go to the initial state then from here press return to get started and when i press enter see my customized message it is appeared here so in this way you can set up any login banner message in your cisco devices doesn't matter whether it is a cisco switch router wireless lan controller or firewall if the device is running in cisco ios then you can use the same command to configure this login banner message so in this chapter we have talked about what is a login banner we have discussed about the purpose of a login banner we have talked about the contents of a login banner we have explained different types of login banners and finally i showed to you how to configure the login banner in your cisco device thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos enhance your skills using irash academy